quartiles and interquartile range. In this lesson, we will learn how to identify the maximum, the minimum, and the quartiles in a data set. The maximum is the largest number. The minimum is the smallest number. And the quartiles are the three numbers that divide a data set into four equal groups. Let's begin by finding the maximum and minimum for this data set. First, we must put the data set in numerical order. The maximum or highest number is 10, and the minimum or lowest number is 2. Now, let's explore the concept of quartiles. The three quartiles are the lower quartile or first quartile, the median or second quartile, and the upper or third quartile. 25% of the data values will be lower than the first quartile, 50% will be lower than the second quartile or median, and 75% of the values will be lower than the third quartile. To find the quartiles for this data set, again, we must make sure the data set is in numerical order. We will begin by finding the median or second quartile. To find the median, we must find the number that is in the middle of the data set. There will be the same number of values above and below the median. Notice the median for this data set is 6 because there are five values on each side of the data value 6. Now, to find the upper and lower quartiles, we must look at the sets of numbers above and below the median. We will start with the lower quartile. To find the lower quartile, we must find the middle number for the lower half of the data set. Since 3 is the middle number for the lower half of the data set, 3 is the lower quartile. To find the upper quartile, we must find the middle number for the upper half of the data set. 8 is the middle number for the upper half of the data set, so 8 is the upper quartile. Now that we've identified the quartiles, Let's find the interquartile range, or IQR. The IQR is found by subtracting the upper quartile and the lower quartile. Again, our upper quartile is 8, and the lower quartile is 3. Making the interquartile range 8 minus 3, or 5. In this lesson, you learned how to find the minimum, the maximum, the quartiles, and the interquartile range for a data set.